Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk all about the critters here in Dreamlight Valley. I'll show you how to approach and feed each critter, what foods they like, as well as their schedules for when they are available. To begin with, what are critters? Critters are the cute little animals that you see running around in your valley. Each biome has an assigned critter to it, so that means there are 8 different animal species, but with all the color variations, there are 41 critters total that you can unlock. You get critters by feeding them their favorite foods. You can also get special critters through the Star Path, the Premium Shop, and also by participating in certain valley events like the Wally Eggs Extravaganza one. So if we go here into our menu, under the Collection tab is a critter category. The critters will be grayed out until you have befriended and unlocked that specific critter. And once you do, it'll become a colored picture like mine is here. And you can find out when the critters are here just by scrolling over and choosing them. And you'll notice at the bottom of your screen, it'll tell you where to find that critter and it'll tell you their schedule. Now don't worry about having to keep track every day of who is here because at the end of each feeding demonstration, I'll have a chart of those critters with their schedules. So you can just pause the video and take a screenshot and then save that chart for your records. Now, once you have unlocked a critter, to make it your companion, you go into your wardrobe section, and then there's a companion section, and you can choose different companions to hang around with you. Now, another option to display your unique critters is to craft a companion home and a crafting bench. So once you've crafted your companion house, you can find it in the essential section or the miscellaneous section. You can also craft things like fuzzy friend companion dish and the flying companion feeder which are items that allow your critters to interact with so we place so you can place your critter house anywhere you want in your valley you place a dish too and you can go over to your house you interact with it and you can choose up to four critters to display and they'll just run around here in your valley The last thing that you can do with critters is take photos with them. So each critter has their own pose and they are all really adorable. So I encourage you once you unlock the critter to just try it out and see what their pose is. It makes taking photos with them even that more ex much more exciting. All right, now to the feeding. So the first critter we'll feed is the squirrel that is found up here in the plaza. To feed a squirrel, all you have to do is just walk up to it. Now the squirrel's favorite foods are peanuts, and you unlock peanuts by leveling up Remy and doing his restaurant quest. So if you don't have peanuts, the squirrels will also eat any of the berries that you pick off the bushes in your valley. Yeah! Alright, so next up is the rabbits that are found in the peaceful meadow. So with rabbits, you have to play tag with them. So you approach the rabbit. It runs away. You follow. And it'll do. you keep repeating that process until the approach option appears. Rabbits' favorite food are carrots. But if you don't have carrots, they will eat any other vegetable. They just don't like them as much. All right, so next up is the crocodile, which is found in the Glade of Trust. So what you do is you slowly approach them until they raise their head. And they look around, and once they make eye contact with you, then you start your game of red light, green light. So when their head is raised, stop, and when they lower it, you can approach them. And you keep doing that until you reach them. And once you approach them, they'll lay on your belly and kind of flop around. The crocodile's favorite food is lobster, but if you don't have lobster, they also like herring, cod, squid, and tuna.
Next up, we have the sea turtles found here on Dazzle Beach. So to feed them and interact with them, all you have to do is run up to them. They'll bury their head in the sand, and then you just wait until they lift their head back out. And once you do, you can feed them. The turtles' favorite food is seaweed, but they also like shellfish, the scallop, clams, and oysters here that you collect on your beach, as well as lobster and shrimp that you fish out of the waters. Next up are the raccoons found in the Forest of Valor. So the raccoons, you approach the same way you do as the crocodiles. Walk up to them until they sit up. And it's like they do a stand up actually, and they look at you. Once they sit down, you can approach them, but when they stand up, stop. It's another game of red light, green light. And then once you get close enough to them, they'll sit down and then you can approach them. The raccoon's favorite food is blueberries, but if you don't have blueberries, they also like any of the other berries that are found on the bushes in your valley. So next up are the foxes in the Frosted Heights. So you approach them the same way you do the rabbits, where you play a game of tag. So you just approach them, and they will... ones the orchard sunbird loves pink and purple and then the turquoise sunbird loves blue and pink flowers so last but not least we have our ravens that are found up here in the forgotten lands so all you do is walk up to the raven and you just stand there and let them circle you. And then once they're done, you can approach them. All right, the raven's favorite food is any five-star meal, but they also like four or three-star meals, just not as much. And so that is how you approach and feed all of the critters here in Dreamlight Valley. Now, once you feed them a number enough times, you can unlock them so that you have the option to make them one of your companions. And even after you unlock them, I would continue giving them their favorite foods because when you feed them their favorites, they will drop you items like crystals, dream shards, memory pieces, special motifs, night shards, seeds, and the foxes even drop iron ingots sometimes. So keep feeding them, and there's also uh, dreamlight challenges or duties that um, require you feeding your animals. But I hope you found this video helpful so that you too can unlock all of the adorable critters that are roaming around here in our valley. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.